Hi, and welcome to the show! This is family friendly! Haha, <laughs> yeah! Welcome back, uh, year 2018, mother This is family friendly! Haha, <laughs> Johnny boy! Uh huh, mm, yeah! Uh huh, oh yeah! This is family friendly! Hi again and welcome to 3 Minute John And now the news Google I.O. A few days ago, Google had the 2018 I.O. keynote and they announced what to expect next The new Android OS will be packed with awesome new features and it's called Android P The P will be available later this summer, but a public beta version is already available on smartphones from Google, Essential, Sony, Nokia, and more. Not for Samsung, though. It's okay. You don't need the P. Google integrated AI and machine learning in everything. Gmail, Maps, Notification, Gestures, Google Assistant, and Photos. The CEO of Google even said that it can make your kid cuter. What? So for example, if you have this picture, cute picture of your kid, we can make it better. We can drop the background color, pop the color, and make the kid even cuter. Okay. I wonder if this will work on my wife. Okay. Yeah, still ugly as f But hey, love is blind. Ish. Google Assistant got a huge boost of intelligence, making Siri look like it's only in kindergarten. It has six new voices that sound very human. As a matter of fact, the Assistant can call someone from your contacts and make an appointment for you. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Holy shit! When an AI goes, mm-hmm, it's time to freak the f out! Uh, how would you recognize that you're talking to a machine and not a human? How can you trust anything you hear from now on? How? Wait, actually it's not that bad. So I told Diane that Suzanne told me that Helen said she hates her. And so Suzanne told me to speak to Helen to tell her that Diane said she's as stupid as her mama, Miss Michelle. Mm -hmm. John, are you listening? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so then... So are you excited about the new updates? Is Android gonna be better than iOS? Will my wife ever stop blabbering? Leave a comment and let me know. China is using brain scanners on workers. Okay, this one is a little scary. China is rapidly turning into a country that Orwell described in his dystopian society from the book 1984. What? <laughs> I read. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. We all know that China watches its citizens like a big brother, and they even have a citizen score like the one in Black Mirror. But this time they made a device that monitored the brain activity of employees. To them! It's called emotional surveillance technology and the workers' safety helmets or hats are fitted with wireless sensors that read the emotions and other mental activities. The brain waves are then processed by AI computers to detect emotional spikes such as depression, anxiety or rage. So when the system issues a warning, the manager asks the worker to move to a less stressful position or to take a day off. Ah! Oh crap! John, go home. But, but I... Home! The companies that use this technology are very satisfied with the results. Since they implemented it on 40,000 workers in 2014, at the Zhejiang Electric Power, the company's profit jumped over $315 million. Wow. Okay, that might be, but monitoring your every emotion every time is one of the biggest privacy violations ever. But what do you think? Would you wear a hat that tells your boss your emotions? John, why do you feel lust? Because, uh, 
Because I love you, sir. Uh, <clears throat> it, yeah. Give me a G, give me a D, give me a P, give me an R. G, D, P, R. That's what I was trying to spell. Everybody in the European Union are talking about GDPR or General Data Protection Regulation. Why? Because it's a new privacy law that protects EU citizens' data and f those that want to sell that data without consent. If you have a business that uses any kind of user data, you'll have to go through some effort to be compliant with the new regulations. But after you do, your customers will have more trust in your service. You will be able to engage only the people that are interested in your service and so much more good stuff. And if you don't comply, you can get fined up to 20 million euros. The GDPR is made to protect consumers because all those permissions that apps and sites require from you, you know, the ones that were very vague, now have to be explicit so that any idiot can understand them. What? What are you looking at me for? Your email inbox will be clean because no more spam emails unless the product interests you and you opted in to receive that kind of email. There are many more regulations that will be applied in order to protect your data if you live in the EU and they will be active starting May 25th. We'll put a link in the description if you want to know more, but I just want to say this. F your spam emails. F you for selling data without asking me. F your ads that don't interest me. F well, I, I, this ad doesn't apply to me. I, I don't need, I gotta, yeah. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment below. I'm John and until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. And then Miss Michelle said, you don't talk about my girl like that. Mm -hmm. Who do you think you are, you horse face stupid? Hey, hon. John? John? Anyway.